doing a DFW undercover interview. Welcome. Thank, Thank you for being here. I'm um, starting with you, brother. Um, going this way, what you, who you are, and what you do in the band. I am Brian and play guitar. I'm Zach and I sing. Bill and I play drums. Dave and I do bass. And what's the name of your band? Bombing Ibiza. Bombing Ibiza. Bombing Ibiza. Or sometimes known as Bombing Ibiza. Is he, but yeah, depending or on Bob his. Ming. Bob, Bob Ming. Ming. Bob Ming. Bob Ming. No problem pronouncing My favorite one was blowing Obama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <Yeah. laughs> so, what does bombing at Ibiza mean? Why did you choose the name? It's, uh, I don't know. It's actually something that uh, he kind of said when we were 16 and it's kind of carried into this band. Yeah. Uh, we were just talking about the island of Ibiza and all the rave scene that was going on at the time that still happens. They have they hold these huge festivals on this island outside of Spain called Ibiza. And he said, wouldn't it be great to bomb Ibiza? And I said, that's it, bombing Ibiza, let's just do it. Let's use that sound. So it's kind of stuck. Yeah, I guess it kind of means like <clears throat> crashing the party or ruining yeah. the fun. Yeah. Which is what we do all the we time. We do it all the time. Yeah, yeah, we do it all the time. <laughs> just we walk in, fun stops. You're very <laughs> un unprofessional. <laughs> Sloppy. Yes. Sloppy? Yes. Oh. Well, you guys are. I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, what genre? What What would you say? What, what, how would you describe to the fans what kind of music y'all play? Or Who wants to feel that? Way? I think David would be the best person. <laughs> I want to hear that answer. You, want, you just want to hear it from him. I want to hear what he has to say. Well, they always say it's pulse hardcore. Because I really don't know what we are. We just are what we are. <laughs> we don't fit in anything. We're just in your face. Yeah, we're yeah. Just very in your face. I think a lot of it is because we're all so different in our genres. You know, we, Bill's drum is more of a kind of like a hip hop rhythm. Mm -hmm. Zach has a lot of influence of you know old folk, old country. <laughs> you really do that, right? Like, yeah, like, yeah. Also, like hardcore, being yeah. hardcore stuff yeah. like that. Ryan is just in the league of his own. Ryan just does whatever Ryan does. <laughs> it just adds. And most of my stuff is influenced a lot by, you know, funk and things like that. Little pop element. Little pop element. Yeah. A lot yeah. of room five. I guess we just want to be heavy for the sake of not being labeled metal or metal, anything heavy metal, just something that's hard. That's just music. Yeah. yeah, there's more of a melodic sense to it, I think, than a lot of metal music. Yes, we actually use we actually use chords. <laughs> <laughs> it's not double bass all the time. It That's okay. <laughs> I know. You know. I know. I know. It should you need more double bass on that mic. Working on that metal apocalypse cover. Yeah. <laughs> so you just kind of mix all your genres all together and. Yeah. Yeah, it makes who you are. Post hardcore, yeah. yeah. Post hardcore nation. Yeah, yeah kind of like we we all like at the drive-in, like Deftones stuff like that, and so there's kind of a yeah. I think that vein sort of runs through it. That sort of like yeah. Yeah, we try to be we try to be really exciting. We try to make the live show as you know exciting as possible. You like to perform. Oh, definitely. Oh, y'all don't like to stand there and just look at the audience while they stand there looking at you? Well, sometimes I do that between songs. I have like this little, this little awkward pause thing that I do. I just like stand there and stare at the audience till people start giggling. Well, if 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 they so, don't respond, you will start calling them out. Yeah, but that's all our, it's all in fun. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, we put we try to. We try, we try to entertain everybody. Yeah. I know he works his ass off out there, and he tries to at least reach even the guy in the very back, and grab his attention. So. So you got a lot of energy. We have not actually seen y'all live yet. We will. <coughs> yeah. In time. Definitely. Um. We were turned on to y'all by who? Uh, Tentacle Productions. Jeremy, shout out. <laughs> y'all have a yeah. show that y'all are playing with with uh with him, with his production company. Yeah, we're doing a show with um, Jet Set Rifle Club, ourselves, The Implication, really good band from Denton, um, band called Jetta Grove, 
That's the headline. Paper robot. Is it the headline? I think so. Yeah. I, that's okay. Is it? At Curtain Club this Friday. Yeah. Thirteenth uh, of September. Yes. Yep. Friday the thirteenth. Yes. It's pretty good Friday the 13th. Yeah. Jeremy told me this is his first show at the Curtain Club. So yeah, I believe yeah. so. It should be awesome. It should be our third or fourth. Yeah. We played there more than that. But yeah, yeah. there's so this that. band, as this complete band, maybe our third or fourth. Yeah. yeah. So how long y'all been together as a total band, as as just these guys right now? Well, I mean, back in high school, me and Bill started making music. He left for the Air Force soon after graduation, so there was a... Four year, gap. Time, four year gap. Four year gap, and all of a sudden he sh I found that he showed back up in Dallas. He's got a band playing and he's using the same thing, palming up a pizza. So. And I was looking for him. Uh, I showed up to band practice. About three or four <laughs> months later, the old guitarist is out of the band, and this is what you got. Yeah, yep. So. That's cool. So it's just moving forward. That's a good thing. Yep, yeah, yeah. definitely. Trying to progress a little I bit. I guess in the beginning, it was just playing as much shows as possible just to get us out there because we didn't want to be held back and in between that it was a struggle to write new material as saying this is what we wrote rather than we were having to fill set list with the old Bobby the Beza guitar and his songs but we wanted to write new material as a new band so uh, for the first year it was really really hard juggling. How many what? shows did we do? And, <laughs> it's like, almost 15 like, shows and three months, three and a half months? Three and a half months, just in three and a half months, but the rest of the year was still book solid too. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah it was busy. Just yeah. trying to write new material and rehearsing for set list at the same time was just a real rush the whole time. So. Yeah, just playing Dallas, you're playing Fort Worth or Denver? We did Austin, we did Fort Worth. Yeah, we haven't played in Denton yet. Yeah, we're still. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to get out there in Denton. That's good. What, what's your favorite place to play in, uh, in Dallas? Venue-wise, mm -hmm. Curtain Club's a really good place to yeah, play. Yeah, Curtain Club's fun to play. Um, trees, when we have a good yeah. sound guy. <laughs> if we could, trees definitely. But I mean, it's hard because it's just whatever we. Uh, I guess not whatever we can get in Dallas. We do get invited to play these shows, but at the same time, it's just the same thing every time we play. It's just no promotion from the clubs so or you know. Play, I don't know. It's our I mean, own promotion. You know. I don't yeah. know, it's just all the same, and it doesn't matter what club we play in Dallas. I mean, they're all in like the same block, the same area, Reno, Spoiler Room, what's in Curtain Club. I mean, it's just all right in that same area. So. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't y'all like to see uh, Deep Ellum get back to old school where yeah, Deep Ellum's yeah. nicely rushed and <clears throat> the yeah, yeah. shows are nicely packed? It's coming back now the best it's been, I'd have to say, in five years. When we first started getting a, our rehearsal space is right between Deep Ellum and Fair Park. And at that time, Deep Ellum was completely dead. We used to frequent Reno's after band practice or before band practice, and it's just a ghost town. Nobody walking around, no cars, just dead. But it's come back. I mean, there's a lot more Slowly. restaurants now. There's some clubs. There's people trying to do stuff. Clubs are coming and going, but at least there's. That's good to see. More it's action. good to see a lot more people out there. It should be a lot more though. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. remember as a kid, my parents used to take us down there. They used to block traffic off on Main and Elm. You could mm. not drive down these streets because it was so full of people on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So. Yeah. Uh, how far it's come since then is is uh, it's pretty funny. Yeah, it yeah. was it was a total different entity back then. Yeah. So, but that's when people didn't have what they have like entertainment wise, computer wise. I mean, you yeah. know, they don't want to slide off the couch anymore. There's a lot yeah. of lazy asses now. <laughs> that's, that's true. There are a lot yeah. of people. Well, each of them are just trying to make a buck at this point and not foreclose on their bar, you know, or lose their liquor license because so many of the clubs we played at have just from not renewing their liquor license they're closed down like Arnetic we've played many shows that have yeah. used to be the old old Galaxy Club they took over as Arnetic and that was a fun place to play yeah, yeah. we did a lot of I mean, they shows there we did a lot of good remodeled the inside really well it was a cool stage cool place to play but one thing that the owners and the people that work there express is that we don't like to promote we want to be I don't know, yeah. they were like this, I don't want to label it as hippie type of thing, but it was just like <laughs> rage against the machine in a way to not promote my bar, and we just thought, or not promote the shows of what's going on here, we thought that was kind of... Yeah, no business model as a business model. Weird, so <laughs> eventually they did go out of business, and they're somewhere in Fort Worth, they say, so... Yeah. yeah, but the thing is, when you have a show and it's your venue, yeah. on a flyer, you need to promote it. That's why That's why you would see us a lot of times on a Thursday or Friday or Saturday night after band practice out there sticking stickers up, 
handing out flyers, you know, doing it kind of the old school way. Yeah, you need to. Yeah. I mean, yeah. when we were in bands, we didn't have social media. Like, our yeah. social media were our feet. We had to walk around and hand out yeah. flyers. And it was footwork. And beat up people, tell them, get into the <laughs> show. But it'd be nice to go back and play for a club that actually has a following of itself to know that they can go there on a Friday or Saturday night and see good music. Not how many people we're trying to pull in, because obviously it's our friends, the people that we really know, or people, one or two people that have caught us at other shows that show up. But I mean, obviously, the, I think the clubs have a certain responsibility of giving us a certain amount of exposure as well mm -hmm. to whatever crowd that they need to bring in. So that's right. That's the old school. We've been searching for that, and I don't think we've really found it. I think I don't want to throw it out there, but Tom Katz in Fort Worth is probably the closest thing that we've come to that. Where yeah, I mean, maybe. Yeah, Rustin's been nice to us. Yeah, and uh, he's been good to us. Dan and Alora at Shooting Star Productions. Yeah, they they uh, they really got us started. And then they had faith in us. I should yeah, say they're the ones who really just like gave, they liked our live show. The shows, so. They liked our live show. Yeah. Uh, when the bone was the bone, I think it was our first show with them. Up on the roof. He scared the sh yeah he scared the shit out of them. He decided to take, drop the mic and ran across the back behind the drum set in the corner on all the way to the front. And I was wondering if you were going to jump off and where you And no one could see that. <laughs> That's just a drop off. Yeah. And there he goes, just taking off, running, and everybody's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And after that, they were kind of hooked with us. They, they had faith in us. And yeah. you guys want another show? Sure. So... They were real good for us. No, they're still real good to us. So. Yeah. We like to work with people that are straight up. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> like, Tentacle has done a really good job of promoting this show on the 13th. September the 13th. <laughs> Friday the 13th. Curtain <laughs> Club, Bombing Up Visa. Um, well, he'll love you through that in. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, um, those guys, um, you know, that's, that's the kind of people that we like to work with, uh, the companies. Uh, you know, like you guys have said, that, that aren't aren't about screwing you over, and it's about getting somewhere, and making some progress in this business. It's it's really hard for bands. I'm sure it's hard for you know companies too. So it's you know. But it goes hand in hand. Does, you take yeah. care of each other. Yeah. You know? It's good to have like some sort of backup. And it's a rough world out there. It's hard for local music to be seen, and, yes, and especially in Dallas. Yeah, yeah, but but like we were talking, if we grow Deep Ellum the way it used to be, it won't be about Austin. It'll be about Dallas, mm -hmm. and yeah. that's what we want. We want it to grow strong where it is about the Dallas bands. We want people from Austin going. We're going to go to Dallas because they're having some hellacious shows. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, I mean, that's what it's all about, man. It's trying to bring y'all up so people get to know who you are. We don't know who's on our website. We had a band from Scotland send us some stuff that on our Facebook for DFW Undercover, knowing that we're a local music in Texas in the United States. Yeah. They still wanted us to hear them. That's cool. So, I mean, that's a heck of a reach, you know. Yeah. That's a, and that's just Dallas bands getting seen. Yeah, it's all about exposure at that point. So... I mean, and and it's great. There's there are local music, a, a local band in Scotland. We're for you, man. You're a local band. Can't do anything for you. <laughs> no, can't do anything for you. I just passed them off to DMS and said, Joseph, check them out. Man. See what you can do for them, just in case they ever come into the states. So, yeah. But um, you know, we're glad you're here. You know, we, we look forward to hearing you, uh, uh, you know, your music, seeing your performance. We, we need to take some pictures of you and some video of you. Uh, kind of goes hand in hand with this interview that we're doing. So yeah. we might have to take a trip out to the 13th show and check this band out. Show it yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. And we thank you guys boom, boo. No. <laughs> as, long you have, as long as you show up, you can boo us. Yeah. <laughs> So um, let's talk about local music that you guys like, bands that you like in the local scene. Who would that be? Actually, a few of them are the ones we're playing with at this yeah, show. The implication, so. the implications, they're, they're a really good band. They're, um, I don't know, Ryan and I talked to them. Uh, Back in a bar of Riley's when we did a yeah. podcast. Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we didn't have a chance to play, and they told us that they were looking forward to 
seeing this play where you're kind of like, well, somebody yeah. likes this. And so, <laughs> yeah, somehow it came down the line that they had a Denton show they invited us to play with them, but that somehow they fell through. Fell through. through. So, but, yeah, so we're finally getting a chance to play a show with them. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Five, five billion in county. Five billion county. We've yeah. done, we did a uh, Deftones um, tribute, show. Tribute, tribute show, show for Chi Chang, the bassist who recently passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, try to just try to raise any money for the the charity that he has going on. We played with them. We were pretty impressed with how they did uh, around the fur. That was the album uh, that they did. No, no, they did White Pony. White Pony. Um, I can't think of the other band. They did the Young Fur. No, but Five Million County, yeah. Now those guys are really cool guys. Real nice. I'm looking forward to doing another show with them if we get the chance. Uh, Sorosha, like we've done. Out. What's that? I mean, Sorosha, of course. Yeah. yeah. Sorosha has built a name for themselves in the local scene, which is really good to see. Yes, they have. We did a show a long time with them, a long time ago. We used to run them at Reno's quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. They're nice guys, too. We yeah, actually yeah. saw them at Curtain Club, and I was yeah. sitting down talking to them. So. Yeah, we yeah. played with them not too long ago. Actually, when we ran, when we played with them at Tomcats, they came up to us, hey, man, what's up? You know, like, you know, no time had passed. Um, yeah. Who else? There's some. Uh, there's a lot. Of, I mean, it's yeah. that we used to play with, but yeah. There's a, yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot uh, of bands that are, are, Yeah, yeah. Caustic's just a big supporter of our of our music itself. I don't I don't think I've ever written, feel bad to say this seen them live, but uh, the guitar player used to play in a band called Overalls. We used to at the beginning we used to play a lot of shows with them, and he's a, he actually became a huge fan. He shows up for our shows. He supports us a lot. So, yeah, good. Yeah, and if he can get his band together. <laughs> love to do another show. Yeah, I'd love to do another show. Calling you out, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy motherfucker. <laughs> uh, Cardiff, back in the Cardiff. Know, first start yeah, off. Yes, Those guys yes. are nuts. Yes. Those guys are fun. How did we forget about An Cardiff? albino Spaniard is the lead man. <laughs> Angel Perez plays guitar with An albino guitar. Spaniard? Yeah. Albino. Miklo. 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 Yeah. Miklo. yeah. yeah. Or, uh, David can probably crucify. I'm not sure. for me. Not I'm sure Angel will love that. Yeah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> just leave it up. We'll just leave that comment for you. Can we say Latin? Way to go. Call him a Way to go. Just Latin. You call him a Spaniard. Watch him be Spaniard. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all have. Is this your the CD you handed us? Is this the only CD y'all have, or uh, yeah? Because it looks like a full blown CD. I it mean. is a full blown CD. Uh, it was done on a very tight budget. Yeah, very quick. It's very a, quick. Um, it's available on iTunes and Google Play. It's called H A E C C E H A. Or how would they pronounce that? How do normal people pronounce that? People say E C C. It's just like the I B S thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's really just music that we developed for a live scene that we finally decided to lay it down so we can progress more into something else. Because I'd have to say the new stuff that we're working on that we're going to record after the new year is uh, a lot different than this album. So you're progressing musically yes. as a band. It's, uh, yeah. I don't know, it's not just progressive, but I'd have to say like, the genre of the, of the two albums is different. Yeah. Oh, oh. We we're refining the sound. Yeah, as I say, it's <laughs> definitely, it would be, you know, I don't think that ever stops. So you already built a foundation, now you're just moving into a different yeah. section of your music career. Yeah. What y'all really think, what you like, and you think others are going to like, yeah. and really be interested in. That's good. Or hate. <laughs> or hate. Or hate's good, good way to put it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not the same thing. Uh, it's a little slower. Slowed down a little, heavier. Some parts, it's, it's just faster it's, in some parts. Uh, it's, so it's exactly the same know. but different. Yes, it's exactly the same but different. But different, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, fans can they can find you on Facebook? Yeah, yeah. Facebook. Um, we've got a Reverb Nation, um, and then yeah. Got yeah, your own website? Like uh, we don't. We don't have our own website up yet. We did at one point. But access what happened is easy with that? Enough. It's Facebook and Reverb Nation. Yeah. With those two sites, you can see everything as far as the pictures of shows, the updates on shows and events, 
Reverb Nation has like five or six of our songs off this album that you have um, East. Right <laughs> <into>. <laughs> but I don't can't even pronounce it. That's nice. That's awesome. It's like that time I was misspelled. And y'all got merch. Yeah. So at this, this yeah, Friday the Friday 13th show, you have merch for fans to come yes. pick up. You got CDs. Yes. We're, we don't have shirts. shirts. Yeah, not shirts yet. Uh, we'll have some free stickers to give away. Anybody yeah. wants some? Cool. I've got I've got a bunch of really large <clears throat> stickers to give away to some excited fans. <laughs> excited to see yeah. <coughs> One day I'll give those away. I think and by the, excited to see this. <laughs> <laughs> I think by the time the new album comes around, that's when I think we could have some merch and. Uh, maybe do hats is something that we've been thinking about. So hats and shirts. Well, mer merch is very important for a band. That's how you make your money. To do yeah. more EP. Or just more. having your name out there. You yeah, getting it from one hand to the next. That's perfect. But it also helps y'all. You don't want to give that stuff away all the time. You know, you yeah. want. Yeah. You need money coming in. Mm -hmm. I have to survive <laughs> as a band. I have equipment that needs to be fixed when it needs to be fixed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Um. So anything else? How about y'all do one last shout out about your Friday the Thirteenth show? <clears throat> do a real good one right here because it's all about you guys. It's all about this show. Your van all together. Curtain Club. Curtain Club. Friday the Thirteenth. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and the show starts when? I think the oh, doors open at eight. Show starts at nine. We're gonna be hitting it about eleven thirty midnight on the stage. So yes. come it's on, check be, it out. It'll be fun. Yes. Come when the doors open. Yes. To get yes. Enjoy all the bands. Yeah, yeah, all the bands. You know, is great. You know, a lot of people are, are not happy with the local music sometimes, but this is actually a good lineup that we're yes. actually happy to be playing with because we're going to be entertained waiting to play. Usually we're just sitting there kind of, I'm going to say bored and not supportive of other bands, but uh, these are these are other bands that will keep you entertained for sure. Yeah. It's a good show. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for coming out. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. DFW undercover. <laughs>